I thought I would just uh, walk through what SimScale is before we start using it. Uh, briefly, SimScale is an online portal um, to a simulation platform that is actually basically a web browser interface to uh, software running on the cloud. So SimScale has set up a user interface to two, primarily two sets of codes that they um, have written interfaces to. One for finite element analysis, which is what I'll be going through in this module. Um, that software that's running under the hood is called Code Aster. It's a French program. Um, it is running on essentially computer clusters in Germany. So when you uh, go through and use the software on your web browser, and in, particularly for computationally intensive tasks, uh, like for creating meshes and running simulations, it's going to submit your request to either create that mesh or run that simulation to a, a queue on a computer cluster, and it will run whenever it gets a chance using whatever number of processors is required or it deems necessary to solve that. So um, when you're using the software, you may find that you submit a simulation and it takes maybe five minutes before it even starts running. Uh, and that's because it's in a line waiting for its turn on the computer cluster. All right, so the cool thing about that system is it's all cloud-based. Um, so even though the user interface looks a lot like ANSYS or COMSOL or anything like that, um, it is, it is cloud-based and uh, comes with a lot of the benefits associated with being cloud-based. Uh, the software is not running on your own computer, so it doesn't matter what type of computer you're using, Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, all fine, and your hardware specs don't matter at all. So you can run this on an iPad, and I have. Um, so all of that is really good. It's a little bit like Google, a Google Doc. You can share your projects with people. You can collaborate on, uh, you know, on projects with other people. You can even share it with your instructor if your instructor um, asks you to do so. Uh, SimScale comes with lots of online documentation, maybe even a little bit too much documentation. Um, but uh, you know, if you are struggling to find out how to do something, it's a good idea to just type it into Google. You, probably something will come up. Uh, if you are using this as part of the University of Delaware, then um, at least under our current license agreement, um, we have what's called an academic plan. So each student at the University of Delaware is allotted 2,000 CPU hours. Um, worth of simulation time, meaning that, you know, if you use like 64 cores, that would cut like the actual runtime by a factor of 64, but you would still get charged, whatever it is, 64 times the runtime would be your number of CPU hours um, used. But um, under our academic plan, there are no limits on um, the number of simulations that you can submit as long as you don't go over a total of 2,000 CPU hours. So do be respectful of the 2,000 CPU hours and uh, remember that you may have other courses that use this software where you'll want both CPU hours. But um, that being said, like SimScale is capable of running some very big jobs that you would not run on your own computer. Um, you know, like it's not uncommon for computational fluid dynamics to use 100, 200 um, CPU hours, but you know, in terms of wall time, how long it actually takes to run because it's using many processors, you may find that you know a hundred CPU hour job may finish in two hours. So um, it it is quite helpful. Okay, that's about all the intro we need, and I will um, work on how to do the hands-on part now.